Hey, Court Jones here, and this is the student critique video for the lesson on opposition caricature sketching. If you remember from the main lesson, opposition sketching and caricature is when you draw two people side by side at the same time uh, and play off the opposing person's characteristics to help you figure out the exaggeration. Now this is really particularly helpful when you have one boring face to draw. If you pair them up with somebody else who maybe is not so boring, who's a very different type from the main subject, uh, it can help you figure out where to exaggerate, how to exaggerate the boring subject, because you'll immediately see the difference when you look at two faces side by side, how different someone's nose is from another. Um, like if you have a picture of Paul Rudd you need to draw, I need to draw a caricature of him, uh, pairing him up with someone like Philip Seymour Hoffman really shows the differences between the two and gives you a stronger caricature for both. So it can really get you out of a sticky situation when you don't know what to do with someone. And that happens a lot, especially with good-looking, average-looking celebrities who uh, make it really hard on the caricature artist. So, for this free preview of the critique lesson, let's look at one student's work and see where we could improve upon it. Okay, now this is Josh Proctor's drawing of actresses uh, Anna de Armas and uh, Mackenzie Davis, I believe. Josh, on this one, I don't think you got past the thumbnail sketch phase. It's just, it's so rough that it looks incomplete, and I can't really tell what your decisions are, if they're a result of conscious effort or just from being fast and loose and messy with the lines. Uh, and you have some problems with the alignment of the features, and uh, the head shapes are just a little funky and deformed, and they look more distorted than they actually look like caricatures. Also, I think you can really have more fun with the differences between their head shapes there are differences that you indicated here. You gave Ana de Armas a really wide square jaw and uh, Mackenzie Davis really wide cheekbones and a narrow jaw. Def definitely those are differences. And I can work with that. I think I can redraw these in a way, though, that might be a little more true to their likenesses while at the same time playing up the differences even further. So let me take a crack at it and see what I can do. When comparing Anna up against Mackenzie, I see Anna's face is really short, round, and wide. Uh, she's still a, a slim type, it's just her skull shape is uh, a little bit shorter and wider than uh, the Mackenzie's. And with Mackenzie's face, I think a long, tall head will really work well. She has a strong jawline, but her cheeks are even stronger still, so uh, let's see what I can do with those. Okay, let's plug some features in here to see if I can get a likeness to emerge uh, from these two lovely ladies. My first decisions here are regarding their eyes and nose. I see Anna's eyes as uh, widely spaced and uh, Mackenzie's more closer together and her eyes are I guess taller bigger from up to from uh, top to bottom whereas Anna's are a little bit wider and uh, I think Mackenzie has a sort of larger more bulbous nose while on the left Anna's nose is a little shorter uh, more uh, girlish I, I guess you might say but they both have sort of thick eyebrows Both women have big, full lips, but they're full in different ways. 
Anna is on the left has more of a, well, she's showing her teeth, sort of a buck tooth look, and uh, Mackenzie's mouth is closed. Both have sort of neutral expressions, but uh, when they have features that are similar like that, really dig in deeper, observe both side by side, and really ask yourself, how do they differ? How can I make the differences more obvious between these two? So Josh, I hope my sketches here were helpful to you. I'd like to see you put a little bit more time into the sketches you do, uh, if only just to see your thoughts more fully resolved and realized, uh, because I couldn't quite tell what some of your intentions were with the shapes that you'd drawn, because they were just so rough and scratchy. Um, try to draw a little bit more completely uh, and think a little bit more about your structure, lining up the fa features, using the crosshairs, using the abstraction even if you need to. Be more specific in your choices and try to play up the differences between the two people even more when you're doing this type of assignment where you're caricaturing one person uh, off of the other. It is a great technique, uh, not only for drawing two people together, if you have, say, to do that for your job or for a commission you have, but if you have just one person to draw, go ahead and throw another person next to them in your sketchbook to help you figure out how to best exaggerate that person. And try to make sure it's a really different physical type. Uh, some of the problems people were having, I think, came from uh, pairing up two people for this technique that were too similar, either in head shape or their general body type. And it, you know, it's possible. You definitely can do that if you want. It just makes it harder on yourself. In the beginning, when you're learning, just try to pair up two completely different body types, two different types of people, and uh, it'll make those differences even more obvious when you're sketching, and you can maybe get a crazier caricature than you would otherwise. That's just a taste of what you get in the premium course. Uh, if you sign up for the premium caricature course, you get access to the full length critique video where I go over lots of different people's uh, assignments. And of course you get longer versions of the main videos and lots of uh, bonus videos where I demonstrate the techniques on lots of different celebrity types. Uh, so you get a lot of benefit out of becoming a premium student of the caricature course. But keep on uh, submitting your work uh, for critiques for future videos. Keep on watching, keep on drawing, and I'll see you next time.